I'm here with Margaret Nagy, although she calls herself Peggy, president of ASPET. Thank you so much for joining us in the EBTV studio. So tell me, this is the first in-person meeting since 2019. How does it feel? It's exhilarating. It's wonderful. Yesterday we had the business meeting and the room was, was packed with people and there was so much chatter and talk going on and everybody just seemed so excited to be with their colleagues again. And it's really wonderful at last and I hope we don't have to go virtual again. Tell me about some of the highlights for you with this year's meeting. Well, certainly I would think since I conducted the business meeting as president, that was a highlight to see everybody there gathered, enjoying themselves, so excited to be back together. Highlights for me are always talking to the students and dealing with students in any way. I love to go to student posters and just talking to people is exceptional. Also, and here's a shameless plug, I have a symposium tomorrow afternoon at three in the afternoon and it is based on diversity in pharmacology, which is a subject I'm quite passionate about, uh, DEI. So if somebody is listening to this, I do hope you come. <laughs> and that's going to be a highlight for me as well. Definitely. So tell us a little bit about membership and what are some of the benefits of membership with ASPET? Well, first of all, we are really one of the only, one of the few pharmacology societies in America. There's a clinical pharmacology, but we want ASPET to be, ASPET is the home for pharmacology. As a benefit, um, you get benefits as far as the journals and publishing. You are always around your pharmacology colleagues, so there's the benefit of the society and trying to have the very best pharmacology possible presented at the meetings. So the meeting is a huge benefit but there are also many ways of contributing and adding to what you do in pharmacology by joining ASPET. And ASPET now also has wonderful webinars called Focus on Pharmacology that is free to pharmacologists. And we're starting another program on problems in pharmacology, um, a POPs, um, learning pharmacology from a problem-oriented way. So there are many benefits that are free that we are providing um, educationally for our members. Tell me about the focus moving forward. Um, kind of what are those focus points that you want uh, members to look at? One thing that I think is an important focus moving forward is the desire to have a very diverse uh, group of pharmacologists. Pharmacology is moving beyond the boundaries of strict academia and there are pharmacologists in government, there are pharmacologists in biotech, there are pharmacologists everywhere, which is one of the best things about pharmacology because it is a, a discipline that encompasses many other disciplines. So they can work in, in various fields of, of endeavor. And so having, um, bringing in all kinds of pharmacologists is important. And we, as always, are focused on trying to keep on the cutting edge of research in pharmacology and presenting it to our members. It, will that be covered in your symposium as well, the diversity aspect of Absolutely. it? Absolutely. We have had more symposium on diversity in this meeting than we have ever had, and I'm hoping to have more in the future. But I want to create a culture and a program that will appeal to pharmacologists from any endeavor, be it consultants, be it medical writers, no matter what they do. So there's so many different avenues that people can exactly. pursue. Exactly. Okay. And I want them all to feel welcome at ASPET and I want to provide benefit. Well, I say I, but I'm meaning ASPET. We, definitely we, want to provide benefit to everybody. Tell me a little bit about 2023. You're going to have um, your own annual meeting. Oh, what are the plans for that? We are so excited. The plans, of course, are still being made. It's going to be in St. Louis. And we are, again, thinking of a lot of social aspects for our members, um, having like a big party at a different venue that everybody can have, because it's all part of this inclusivity and all part of making the members all feel comfortable. We are restructuring the way we 
carry out the um, the symposia, et cetera, to make things more interactive and not a long series of talks. So we want people to begin to interact during these things in ways that are different than they have done before. So a lot of restructuring of the program and the types of programming that's offered, re restructuring of the poster sessions so that everybody will attend all the posters and they will become more social and more social activities for our members in the evening. It's going to be shorter, but sweeter. Very nice. Sounds like a lot of networking opportunities as well. That is totally important. Yes, networking is key. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us today in the EBTV studio. You're very welcome.